Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Scene with me, Cosmic Knight. Okay, well after the last episode and uh, explaining my intentions of going to normal, uh, I've harvested field 17 over there. Uh, just about finished this one and we've got so much money in the bank. We've got half a million dollars just burning the hole, ready and waiting to be sent, uh, spent. Sorry. So, <clears throat> what to do? Well, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I've also been doing tons of mowing missions as well. I must have done five in a row um, down at the uh, baseball pitch. Uh, I've still got this going straight to the uh, great demand. Uh, first thing I want to do, I'm going to sell this little fertilizer spreader. Uh, it's had its day. Um, I never really intended to use a fertilizer spreader as much as I have done. Uh, I wanted to try and use a sprayer on these big fields, so that's what we're going to do. We're not going to get the self propelled sprayer. Um, I think that's a little bit extravagant just for what we need for the moment. Uh, as soon as you've only got three fields. Uh, let's, uh, let's turn the emissions off for now. Do them off camera. Yeah, so once we've got like half a dozen fields or something, then then I think the self-propelled spire will be, um, uh, you know, value for money. But for the moment, I think we're just going to get the toad one. So we're just going to uh, put this in here. Over that. Excellent. Okay, sell that for as much as we can get. So, let's have a look. Okay, here we go. 48,000 for the um, toad one. We can't really justify this, plus this also holds more. So let's buy that. And let's have a look at it. Now these are the sort of sprays we used to use on the farm. Uh, you know, they're pretty good. There's not many farmers around our way that would have a self propelled sprayer. Uh, because of the cost of them, you need quite a large, large acreage to justify it. Cool. So these things also have rear steel at the back. Oh uh, yeah, look at that, look at how that follows. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Good to so see yeah, I've got me uh, overloader working, so that's, that's good. Hopefully that's... Uh, Yep, I can see on the uh, uh, bit up there, let's just cycle through till we find it. Oh, actually that trailer's full, of course, so we're going to get a nice little injection of cash. So it'll be interesting to see how much we get out of that. I haven't really been keeping track on what them trailers have been selling for, because uh, I've been doing so many missions. But we're just going to go and top this up. And well, yeah, I will top it up, because... Uh, Cool, it's got bacon on the back as well, that's good. Okay, and I'm going to leave this here just for now. Just wait for it to fill up. Well actually, um, what I'm going to do with some of this money, that feels just about done. Alright, so, I, I've ridden my bike over here. And we are at field, I want to say 11. Yeah, this big one around the back here. Um, and one thing I noticed, now I can't be, sh I'm sure that was 400,000 on Norton Hard. Now that's almost 50,000 pound cheaper, I can't remember exactly. Uh, if anyone can remember, uh, let me know, but uh, playing on normal, that's definitely cheaper. So we're going to buy this field. Cool, so that's given us 128 left. What we're going to do, this tractor on the sprayer. Actually, uh, let's just, just ride with this guy. I just want to see how much we get for this wheat. I could almost buy the lizard truck, but uh, I think I've got other priorities before I buy that. Okay. Yeah, 
let's see how much we get. Cool, so we well oh, just under about f uh, forty-five thousand dollars for that. That's not too bad. Can't grumble at that. Okay, so right, leave that there. We're going to need you shortly. First, we want to get that big field seeded. Okay, we don't want um, wheat, we've just done that. Let's just have a look at the prices just to give us an idea. Okay, barley's on the way up, canola's on the way up. Uh, well, can't do corn anyway. Um, okay, let's go. Done. Yeah, let's go barley, shall we? Yeah, let's go barley. That won't hurt. I think we done canola with potatoes last time, didn't we? So, cosplay's changed slightly. I've updated this to the latest. Um, developer pack, it's uh, version 3.41.03, uh, I think that's 86 or, uh, sorry, 83 or 63, I can't quite see, um, but anyway, so, as usual, I've forgotten the working width of my um, drill, Meters. Okay, let's bring this in. Just put a nine. And oh, another thing. Uh, wait, well, it's got your fuel edge path. Rather than showing all of them, it just shows the ones you own now. So we go 11, 15, 16, 17. So we can go straight to uh, 11. Starting corner. We want the uh, southwest. Right. Actually, before we do this. What I want to do, I want to set, start a new course. Yep, yeah, right, okay, let's just, uh, well, no, I will need to set a um, refill course for this, so, what I want to do, I just want to get this lined up so it can come from any angle in the field and pick up the, uh, pick up the course. Okay, so we just want to sweep past here. Hopefully that picked up the trigger. And we're going to shoot up here. Hook the left. Because I'm trying to get all these uh, one way, you see. I suppose really I should be... Um, driving on the right but uh, oh, there you go too late now okay stop course there and we're going to save that as um, I can't remember what you used to call the other ones now let's have a look uh, see the refill okay yeah so we save this it's F11 see that refill cool and then we can move that. Oh, actually, we need to make a new folder, don't we? Um, okay, let's just put it level zero for now. We just need to make a new folder. F11. Drop that in there. Okay. So, yep, starting direction, we want to head uh, east. Uh, return, yes, headlands. Okay, headlands change slightly. Uh, when we select headland now, uh, basically you have no headland, or uh, you can choose which way around you go, left or right or clockwise, anti-clockwise. Uh, you can choose whether you want the headland to be done first or after. So basically, uh, you'll go round it first before the headland, or you do the headland after you've done the field. So there's a little arrow there. 
and then you choose how many times you want to go around so we're just going to go around once with this and we want to do the do the headland after we've done the field so once all that's set up uh, we'd hit great course and as usual always start at the first waypoint uh, otherwise you could pick up any other course and this way it would guarantee best coverage ok he's going to go and fill up in a second anyway or did I um I can't remember if I added it, let's add this to it hopefully it's just going to refill anyway no, let's stop this. Cool, I'm all in a pickle today. Okay, let's do this again. Field 11. Blah, blah, blah. Generate. And then see the wheel refill. Oh, we also want this one. S yep, fertilizing seed. First waypoint, drive. Okay. Alright, it's been quite a long while since I've done that. Here we go, and we've got the uh, mark gone down. Good. Excellent. Alright, so now this is done. Uh, we reset this course. Set. So what we want to do, we're going to do this one, uh, which is field 15, isn't it? Uh, we want to start northeast, heading south. Uh, don't need to return there, but this time I've got it. Do the headland first and go around twice. And uh, twice is quite nice because what that means is you can actually turn the combine uh, without going in onto the grass. Uh, so I'll show you how this works and we also want this to go uh, clockwise because then the spout will be on the grass or um, or the first one on. ok I'll be back sorry about that technical difficulties again right so we've got everything set up so I just want to hit the first waypoint uh, which is over there. So the thing is with the combine because it's got such a uh, silly little turn. Just want to make sure it's nicely lined up. We hit drive. I have noticed that you, um, doing these headlands, they seem to miss a little bit more with the new way. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why that is, but. Uh, I think it might just be this combine maybe with a, a not very good turning circle or a slightly narrower header, I think a slightly wider one would probably get that uh, so once we get the bigger combine uh, we'll see if that clears up some of the bits we miss but what we want to do now, if we finish this course we just want to do another temporary one this field to this trailer because there's no point doing another one to this trailer because uh, that trailer's fine there and we're close enough to the field so if I just spin around here it's recording I've noticed this has changed as well. I think you've got stop, pause, uh, bin, uh, wait. I'm not 100% sure what these other ones are. Um, I have to. I haven't actually read any of the uh, patch notes, uh, but I'm, they're probably quite explicit. That's sort of like a U-turn or something, isn't it? Or, or game reverse, maybe. Or well, that one's reverse. So we just want to get this just just right. Set waypoint and then drive on. Just 
wait for the combine to go past, crash into it. Okay, stop, and we don't, we're not going to bother saving this because it's only a temporary one. Uh, just so, uh, get that weight in that trailer. Right, so we'll just let that do for a minute. And what I want to do quickly. Let's just check on the uh, cedar, make sure that's going okay. Yeah, it's working. Make sure he's seeding. Um, what does it say up there? 87% seeds. So he's, he's been in refield. He's on his third run now. Cool. I just want to go and uh, check the old sheep farm because uh, I haven't been over there since I installed that new uh, gadget. So. Let's have a look, let's see. So we've got plenty of bits and pieces at cow sheds. Oh, loads of feed at the uh at the sheep pen. Cool, so we've got two full pallets on there. And for some reason we've got two next to the trailer there, which is a bit strange. But I can sort that out later. They're probably better off there than catapult across the map. Don't know why that's done that, not seen that before. Um cool, okay, well let's just go and uh, check our greenhouses as well quickly. Uh, we've got to get a cultivator. I don't think I've got a spare tractor, have I? I've got one there, the other one's on the uh, mower. I suppose I could pull the mower tractor off and get that cultivator in these fields. Otherwise, mind you, that's going to take you blooming a month of Sundays to seed that field. So I think we'll probably have plenty of time. Uh, but now we now I'll tell you what, it's so nice playing a normal. Uh, I, I think you'd probably take it for granted if you started on normal. Uh, but because we played on hard for quite a long while, going on to normal and getting that extra cash is uh, is quite welcome. That's good, doesn't it, Costa? Oh, yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, drive across the fields. Well done. Okay, so we can try and get these cows to 100% soon. Uh, probably another harvest or so. I'll keep doing running the missions uh, off camera just to boost our income a little bit. Right, okay, oh, these are still, still here, yeah, I haven't, uh, I forgot actually because I showed this uh, when we start, first got the combine out, so it's only been about an hour of your time. Cool, okay, well, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here because next episode I want to show you the sprayer uh, on the big field and hopefully we'll be well under the way of cultivating and seeding these fields. Um, I'm not sure what my next purchase is going to be. I'd quite like to get a baler uh, and maybe buy one of them small fields and grass it just so we can get some hay going. Uh, but then we've got to get tedders and, and, and bits and pieces like that. Um, Yeah, wind rowers. Oh, mind you, that's in a bit of a sail, isn't it? But then, do we need 19 metres? Or will 12 and a half be enough? Definitely get the big one of them. Maybe we just get the big one. Less runs, more bales. And how much we've got here? So, just over. 200, 200 grand. Not going to worry about the little ones this season. And I, uh, no, see, I might get this as well. Yeah, plenty to do. Like this truck. Oh, blimey, maybe I'll play on easy. <laughs> okay. Right, 
I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I'm going to let this run for a little while. And when we come back, we'll get our new sprayer out and see what 40 meters look like. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.